Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. So in uh, today's video, this is going to go over updating the uh, Retro Lunatics Retrobat Online versus Play Build. That is a lot to follow. So whenever I created this, it was originally made for the uh, 7.1 of Retrobat. We are now up to 7.3 and I just want to give you Advice on to, on how to do it, and is it safe or not? Yes, it's completely safe. Everything will still work the way that it should work, as originally intended. Um, this also brings in, which this is what this build really needed, is a more audio secrecy. And I'll show you how to do that after I show you how to update this. Now, for those of you who don't know, this build was created to uh, take advantage of the net play capability that Retrobat carries and everything is set for one button as you see right now I or you can't see because you can't see my controller but I'm using just an 8-bit dual controller here anything that's Xbox controller or X input use it will be 100% compatible right off the bat with this now I'm just going over the basic retro stuff first um, way more setup needs to be done for anything that is Xbox and PS3, which I'm just using my retro core version right here. And it's the only thing that will affect the update as well. So if you just have the core version, then you'll completely be fine. But um, for net play, all I got to do is just hit my Y button or on this one will be my X button. I'll just pick one of these games. Um, we are at version 1.20, so we should be fine on everything except for Pico. Pico is very picky, but also this build uses Genesis Plus anyways. So let's see if there's something I can hop into real quick and just show you how it's done. Um, Final Bar Neo, let's see, different ROM, but we're using a very close version of Final Bar Neo. So we should at least be able to get in the game. If we can't join it, we should at least be able to watch it. So we're connected, we're joined, and it looks like this person's not playing. But that in a nutshell is how it works. I mean, we're playing, playing against them. Also, all the games are automatically going to set you into net play. So we'll just, I don't know, we'll pick a random one. We'll go Afterburner. Even though this is in a two-player game, someone can watch us, waiting for client, so we're joined. Easy as that. Nothing more has to be done. Okay, now for the update part. Um, it's not going to automatically update. You'll need to turn that on yourself, but going to hit start on your controller and go down to uh, system setting. I'm sorry, go to updates and downloads. And... It's going to be a turn off by default, so we're going to need to check that. Go ahead and back out of the menu, and then get back into your menu. Go to your updates and downloads, and you can start updating. It's going to say no day available because I've already done it, but it'll say version 2.3. Do you want to confirm that? Confirm that, and then you can start your download. Once it's downloaded, just close your program, you open it. And that's as far as the updating goes. I want to get into more of the quality of life improvements that we can use, especially with the sound. The sound has been, I want to say it's been gone awful on this build. Just the different ranges of how it goes. And this version to me seems like it fixes everything, but we still had to do a little bit on ourselves. So go ahead and come to your menu. You're going to go to... Uh, sound settings now don't mess with the system volume that's really just changes with your computer so if i change it on my computer it'll adjust Let's see 16 well i don't want it too loud because i got actual copyrighted music playing but that would match up with your computer i just have it muted so that's why it's showing zero music volume turn that to 85 percent you don't want it maxed out. It's going to blow your ears out. You don't want it too low because it'll be off sync. But turn it to 85%. Okay, I just had to do a real check to make sure I'm still recording. Now, not everybody's going to like my taste in music, and that's fine. I get it. I understand that. Or you might just rather have the background music for your gameplay. All you got to do is toggle off the front end 
and come down here to where it says enable preview audio and that should give you all the sounds that you need you can even enable that as well for when you're scrolling and when you have the the videos playing in the background so you can toggle that if you want to if you don't want to hear my amazing taste of music now this is something either new or just something that i've never seen before but you can actually pick whatever music songs that you want to play so you'll come down right here to selection your favorite songs and then you can toggle this on so only the songs that you have selected is going to show on the playlist and i can just toggle that toggle those three and those will be the only three that'll play as long as you've done that and you toggle this on all right now the very important part and this is what's going to keep everything in sync for us you're going to go to game settings you want to come down here all the way down until you see uh, audio now we see audio you more likely won't have all those settings shown that's because i made them and this is how i have mindset and i i would suggest that y'all do the same it would change it from auto to nearest quality leave it at normal volume gain i believe that would be set to auto or some other number if it is set it to zero what that does is it's going to make them you make the sound of your in-game stuff either less you won't hear it as much if it's at negative or you're going to hear more of it if it's in a positive that's just how much louder it's going to be from the menu into the game uh, that can you can just leave that to whatever you want i haven't played around with these enough to know what all these do so you can experiment in audio sync put that toggle on i believe it's just on auto we want that on all right in your drivers if your computer has it um just put it to vulcan most things prefer vulcan anyway so if you can run it do it if not just play safe and leave it on auto audio you can just leave that to auto you can experiment with these if you want but i find just leaving on auto works for me and the SEL works for me, but you can change that, you can experiment. But these are my settings. Okay, then after you do that, you can just uh, exit out retro back, get back into it. Then all your settings should be saved. And your sound should actually stay in sync with however you set it on your computer. Okay, anyways, I just wanted to drop that real quick for you all. Especially for those who are using my settings or my program. If you're not using my program, then you can actually find that on Arcade Punks. And I can help you out with the setup if you have problems with that. Okay, anyways, y'all have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later. Bye.